Right, two drag bags. Long gun bags, sniper sled, sniper bags, whatever you might want to call them. I call them drag bags. For long guns, obviously. One on the left is a Voodoo Tactical that I've had for years. Very trusty, dependable, rugged. The one on the right is fairly new. It's from Everly Stock. Now the one on the left is, I'm gonna be honest, less than half the price than the one of the, uh, than the one. Less than half the price that they ever leased off. And it's, it's very rugged, you can depend on it. I put extra padding inside, I'll show you later. This one actually carries my 308 with a 24 inch barrel. This one is holding the 300 BRC with a 28, 28 inch barrel. Now this is a 52 inch drag bag and it just narrowly fits my 51 and a half inch rifle. Um, Price-wise, this is more expensive, like I said, but as soon as you put this on your shoulder, as soon as you start carrying the Everly stock, you don't even have to go inside yet. Put your rifle in, compare the two, just shoulder them, or whatever you prefer to carry by handle on the side, you will know the difference quick. This just sits more naturally in the bench. It, it just sits more naturally and to be honest, it's at least for me way more comfortable on the shoulders. And I've tried it, I've carried both, actually tried to went up and down the stairs with both. Definitely more stable, definitely more comfortable. Now I'm not trash talking voodoo here. I've had this for four years. Very nice, very comfortable. I mean if you're if you're kind of in a pinch. You're only going to the range, driving. Yeah, absolutely. This one. I would, I would, I would carry this any day. But if you have means, and you can actually try this, go for it. That's all I'm saying. More on it later. All right. This is the Everly Stock Sniper Drag Bag Open. As you can see actually has this flap if you want to carry a second rifle you are able to the rifle clips actually has a nice touch and a leather to protect the finish of your rifle unlike this part you can actually fold this over the crown And this is where the butt of the rifle goes. Twin internal pockets. Just put my, uh, well, their magazine, whatever. Now, for those of you who are wondering, is it enough protection? It is. But if you're a little bit fuzzy, and you want more, a little trick here put a foam on it then put your rifle on top so that's how it looks like I mean if you're investing at least hundreds of dollars if not thousands of dollars for your equipment definitely protect it now this is overkill and you don't really need it but I'm just saying if you don't feel like it's protected enough, add a layer in there. The flap up. Make sure your crown is covered. And close it up. 